How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to our second Manchester City manager mode. Uh, I am Rybrand, and I am in the office, and we have uh, uh, some 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 transfers to make. I guess it's not really trades like we do in our NHL series, but we'll see how we can do in our transfer uh, in this tr in this uh, first transfer window. Here we have some training to do just before the season starts. We might get about a month into the season too, which should be about uh, seven games or so. There's the training there. I'm not too worried about it. Sané up on ball control. And Jesus on attack positioning and finishing also went up. But nobody went up in overall, which is fine. I'm not too worried about that. But, yeah, let's go. If we look at the squad here, uh, a guy like Fernandinho, uh, Fernando. I mean, Toure is going up. Gundogan is down. But, like, a guy like Gundogan, I don't care if he's in a little bit of a poor form right now. That's just because we lost in the finals of the American Challenge Cup. So, you know, nothing really too big there. But definitely, uh, when I was assessing this team, I like this uh, top three up here. And then we also have um, uh, Sterling to go on this right wing here. Uh, Navas, I feel, is kind of expendable. But uh, the one position, there are actually two positions that I definitely want to focus on are not necessarily midfielders or attackers. It's our fullbacks and our keeper. As much as I love Willy Caballero, I mean, he had a g great season. You know, what, he's not expected to be a world's best goalkeeper. Uh, but definitely think that, uh, you know, he had a good season this season. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to move on from him because just in FIFA, he's not that great. So, my plan is to get uh, a, a couple players that are actually linked to City in real life to keep this a little bit more realistic. Now, of course, um, you know, who knows? Maybe in the future I go for some big name, big splash. Something that might not actually happen in real life if I'm way over pay, way over pay for somebody. And we have a couple transfer offers here. Fabian Delph. Uh, wants to be purchased for nine. Okay. Uh, so my scout, my or my chief executive here is saying that my scout is saying sell him for about 10.1 to 11.9. So we'll go 11.5. See if uh, um, Crystal Palace will accept that offer. I think 11.5 million for a guy like Fabian Delph is a great offer. Uh, you know, I did, I do like him, but he's not somebody that I need to have on the keep on the team. And Thierry Ambrose. I'd rather see him go out on loan. He's not a crucial player on the squad, is right. Uh, he's very uh, the the striker position is very very crowded on this team. Uh, so you know what? I'll, I'll I'll go to the the top of what he's saying. I should sell him for. We'll go for 1.6. See if they do it. Juventus they got the money to spend. They're a top Italian football club. Uh, Ederson here is the keeper I was ha I had in mind to go ahead and acquire as our next goalkeeper. Now, he's 22 years of age. He's 82 overall already. He'd instantly become come in and be the best goalkeeper on the team. And he's got plenty of potential, I'm pretty sure, because he's 22 and he could be one of the world's best. Uh, he's got a stated value of 38, but I'm going to go ahead and lowball them here. Uh, go 30 million. We're going to see if they will accept that. Our transfer budget stays then at 76 million, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Thank God I'm Manchester City because it, it's pretty it's pretty fun to have uh, to have deep pockets. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Wow, he's on a seven year contract. Good lord, that is an awesome contract. If you if you do an SL Benefica um, career mode, and then Kylian Mbappe, uh, definitely somebody I want to approach to buy here. Uh, I did talk on touch on it in the last video. All right, so we're going to see if we can get him for now 20 million instead. <laughs> in real life he's worth 130 million, but if they don't want to if they if they're not asking for 130 million, I'm not throwing that much money in their face just to be realistic here, guys. Um Oh, I'm going to add him to my short list there. Benjamin Mendy, I know is a pretty good left back, so he'd be a pretty good left back to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to inquire about him. Oh, he's recently arrived. Never mind. Uh, I might be able to get him in the January transfer window. I'm going to delete these inquiries from my uh, inbox and then the transfer offers as well. Uh, so not too worried about that. But if we could get a guy, <laughs> uh, if we could get a guy like Kylian Mbappe in here with Sané, Aguero, Jesus, and Sterling, I'm pretty sure that top end is going to be fantastic. Now I did see some comments about my uh, formation here. I do like the 4-3-3 as it is now. Uh, with that holding midfielder in the middle, uh, and the two midfielders quite aren't as wide, so they're both center, central midfielders as well. Um, 
So what I was thinking is, a, like I said, a guy like Fabian Delph is expendable. Uh, I hear Nacho, I wouldn't be opposed to sending him out on loan just to get him some experience. I don't plan on selling Toure. I know you guys are probably going to say get the value out of him while you can, but I want him to uh, retire uh, at the Etihad and retire uh, in a city uniform. So I'm going to keep him on the squad. Navas can go. Fernando can go. Fernandinho can go. Gunn can go on loan. Garcia. Uh, uh, you know what? You know what? Let me just go ahead and do this in the contracts and the sell players. Um, uh, sell, sell players tab because it'll just make this so much easier. God, we got a lot of players out on loan anyway. So we'll go by overall and then guys like um, Stone. Well, we're keeping Stones. Never mind. Where, where are we looking here? There we go. Del Fer well, Fernando, I can I can add him to transfer list. I don't I wouldn't mind selling him. Delph is already in talks. He's loaned out. I hear Nacho. I wouldn't mind adding him to the loan list. Uh, just because I, he's a guy I want to keep. I definitely think he can grow, and I want to keep him on the roster. Uh, th these guys are all loaned out uh, right here. Ambrose, well, he's he's currently being sold. Angus Gunn as well can go ahead and be loaned out. I think I want to keep him just as a potential backup goalkeeper. Uh, Diaz, yeah, I can uh, go ahead and loan him out. I want to send out a whole bunch of players on loan just because these guys aren't going to really get playing time in the roster on, on the squad right now as is. So, and they're they're all young. They're all pretty much um, 20 years old or 17. Jesus for Humphreys Grant, who's got some potential. And I, you know, I'd like to see these guys playing. That would definitely uh, help benefit them. I know you guys are looking at it like you're just sending all of your youth players out on loan. Well. That's what I'm going to do, because I definitely want them to see time on the pitch. Uh, but I don't think they're going to see it here at City right now. Uh, Clichy, uh, sorry bro, but I'm going to add you to the transfer list as well. And I know this is probably isn't your usual FIFA career mode, so if you guys are just joining us, stick around, because I'm going to be a little bit different than almost everyone that does this. Um, because, you know, I, I got my own take on it. I'm not a traditional FIFA career mode kind of guy. Uh, we'll keep Caballero around for a year because he doesn't have the greatest uh, of, uh, you know, values. Uh, B B B Bakri Sanya can go as well at the transfer list. So we're basically having a clearing house. Uh, Claudio Bravo. I'm going to add him. Uh, recently joined the club. Shoot. Uh, you know, we'll put, we can send him. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I don't want to, I want to remove him from the loan list just because I don't think... You know, anybody loaning him out is not going to do us anything. And then these guys up at the top, <laughs> forget it. Uh, Aguero, De Bruyne, Silver, S Silver, Jesus, Silva, forget about it. Speaking of Silva, <clears throat> there is another player that uh, I was looking at that is rumored to be with City. He actually is the City's first uh, transfer move. He, it, it is a young, young, everyone we're looking at is young, but... Uh, uh, did I pass him? I, yeah, I definitely passed him. Uh, okay. Or did I? Yeah, I probably passed him anyway. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he is linked to City. Uh, he does play. Okay, is oh there he is, uh, right midfielder Bernardo Silva. He's uh, 83 value is at 27.5. Uh, he's an exciting prospect, which means he could grow. I definitely like his uh, calmness on the ball and his pace, and his just creativity and vision is something that I personally like a lot and something he could offer to this team that maybe a guy like Sterling can't. Sterling's got the pace, but I don't think he's got the necessarily the creativity or even, you know, sometimes his finishing is lacking. Um, you know, he had a better season this season, I will agree, but there were times that I would like to see a more confident guy on the ball, and Bernardo Silva is 21 years of age, 83 already is gonna be a great player in the future. So we're gonna approach a AS Monaco to buy. Uh, he's probably going to some between 34. Oh, 34, 30. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let's go ahead. I can do 34.1. It's gonna be a lot of money so far in this first transfer window. Lots of coming in, lots going out. But it is, it is the Pep effect, guys. The Pep Guardiola effect is just we're bringing in young, talented, smart players. Uh, and getting rid of some of the old guys, you know, that brought City their title uh, back in, I believe it was 2013. Uh, I really appreciate all those guys and everything they've done for the squad. But I think it is time for us to move on from them. Um, oh, right. There was another player I'm going to inquire about. I don't know how much money I'm going to have. <laughs> Just because I'm on, a, I'm on a selling spree or on a buying spree. Oops. Uh... Uh, very. Let's. Okay, you guys are gonna have to bear with me as I try and uh, 
remember who who everyone I have on my list here. Um. <clears throat> uh. You know what? It's not. It's not important right now. Uh, Jesus, that's 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 bad. I can't even remember his name. Um. Let's go ahead and keep going here. Let's simulate a day, see how our transfer offers went through, and if anyone approaches us with a transfer offer. Uh, they're decided to match it and go ahead. Awesome. And Crystal Palace has decided to match it and go ahead. So that's, I think, about 13.1 uh, million uh, for uh, us to go ahead and um, add to our budget, uh, add to our transfer budget, because we're going to be... There's lots of movement going on. I, that's one of the things I like about being a bigger club, is you can have a lot of movement within your squad. Who, who you buy, who you sell, who comes in, who goes out. Uh, but it's not like you can just buy Ronaldo and Messi in the same transfer window. So you do have to be somewhat strategic about all of this. Uh, and, you know, unlike in real life, I can sell off guys like uh, uh, Zavaleta and, um, you know, Clichy and guys that they didn't really get to sell off that just kind of left at the end of their contracts. Um, so we're going back here because I figured out his name, guys. Uh, okay, or not. Uh, I believe he is in the, in this game. Uh, there he is. Jesus, I don't know why it took me so long to find him. But uh, 83, yeah, he, he looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to approach them to buy him because he's another great central back, uh, center back for us to go ahead and acquire. A 25 million bid. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it at 25 million. I don't know how much I'm actually spending now with all these transfer offers, but we shall see. 83, 25, definitely somebody I'd like to go ahead and get on the team. Also... Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at another player linked to City. Uh, I'm basically using the City transfer list in real life uh, as my own personal what to do in your City manager mode because I think, you know, they got the scouting reports. Um, we're going to inquire about him because we don't know how much he would cost. Uh, but he's he's very happy. Kyle Walker, um, definitely a, f uh, a fullback that we could use. City's definitely weak in the fullback area. Like, you know what? And since we're going to go after, uh, Van, I think it was Van Dyke, uh, Virgil Van Dyke, uh, VV, VVD, I'm going to just call him that because I don't want to butcher his name any more than I probably already have, we can go ahead and list uh, Nicholas Otamendi, uh, you know, for uh, on transfer. You know, we don't need to loan him out or anything because he's not young. But let's go ahead, guys. I know you guys want to see some actual Premier League action and something actually happen. 30 million pounds, or is that's not pounds, that's sterling, I believe. Uh, you know, so I'm going to drop that to 25 and a half, uh, just, to <laughs> just to see. We're th throwing all these transfer offers out, seeing who accepts, seeing what we can get. Um, you know, just see what how we can build the squad, guys. Uh, transfer offer accepted for Mbappe, and there, we, there it is, guys. 20 million for Mbappe, which is absolutely a steal in my mind. Uh, I think this is awesome. We've got plenty. Oh, uh, yeah, he's going to be an important first-team player. I can offer him that because I definitely think he could be that. Uh, I, do I just got to make sure that I'm rotating the squad enough. But I know he him and Jesus are both phenomenal potential players. Uh, oh, we got some transfer offer <laughs> unacceptable. Uh, we have a set price of 38. AS Monaco. Bernardo Silva is 51 and a half. And we have sold Fabian Delph, so there's 10 million back. So we basically uh, selling Delph for half of what um, Mbappe was worth. So what did I offer them for Bernardo, Bernardo Silva? 51 and a half for Bernardo Silva. And then Southampton ha said they want 38 for him. So let's see if they'll take uh, 32 for him. Uh, I don't want to go too much higher than that. Um, uh, and Bernardo Silva is going to be a lot, but I definitely think he's uh, he's worth probably 44 uh, million. I'm going to go ahead and see that because I don't want to overpay for these guys and I don't want to give them just what they want because uh, they will accept something lower, which is what I've recently found out, which is pretty exciting. I know this is a lot of stopping and uh, going back and forth. All right, so oh, unacceptable, 38 million. All right, so let's go up to 34 million. Let's see if they'll accept that because we definitely need Ederson on the squad more than any, mo almost any of the players. Players sold. We've all right. So there's 1.2. So again, it's making our uh, our losses look a little bit um, better. And there we go, guys. Kyle Walker. We went ahead and acquired him. 120 thousand. So he better he better be a uh, damn good player. I'm not gonna pay somebody 300 or uh, 120 thousand for um 
Uh, I'm going to say he's a crucial team player because, you know, he's a, he's probably the best uh, right back we're going to have on the team over Bakary Sanya and that. So Kyle Walker, hopefully he accepts our offer for the contract, and so does Mbappe as well. Yep, he accepts the offer. Let's go ahead and accept that. Now we're only down to $97 million. Oh, shucks. Only have $97 million to spend. Now, you can't blow it all in the first transfer window. That's what I'm hoping not to do is blow it all. And look at that. Our manager rating goes up. I hate to see that manager manager rating goes down. Uh, let's see here. Who do we want to train again? Let's let's get uh, Garcia off of there because uh, I think there's some better players we can train. You know what? Let's go ahead and train some, uh, Sterling up just a little bit. Beat your man. That's fine. And we'll go ahead and simulate these. Uh, just a little bit change in the training rotation. Most of the guys stay in the same, but those are the guys I really want to grow, and some, some these are the guys I really think are going to be the future. Sané, Jesus, Stones, Ajian Nacho, and Sterling are really part of the future. Um, so we'll go ahead and see how if we get any more offers for us. Transfer offer accepted. And there we go, guys. I think we're going to have ourselves a very, very... Oh, not, not 900,000. Good Lord, that'd be way too much for somebody. Uh, but 100,000 for three years is something I can do, and he's going to be a crucial first-team player, and I can offer him that because... He's going to start instantly over Otamendi, in my opinion. Otamendi is going to become a squad rotation player, and that's just how that goes. Um, you know, you got you to you sacrifice a little bit. Oh, God. Kyle Walker. Okay. Okay, so lots of transfer offers accepted for Silva and Ederson. Beautiful. AS Monaco just poaching all of their players. There we go. Let's accept... Uh, there we go, 72 million still, but I think that's definitely a worthy purchase for Kyle Walker, a promising right back. Uh, a fullback is definitely a position of need. Uh, and now we got Bernardo Silva coming on as well, 70,000 uh, there. Let me go ahead and lower that just a little bit. Squad role, I think he's going to be an important first team player. I don't know if he's going to be a crucial first team player, just based on the way we... Um, you know, just based on the way our formation is, I don't know how much playing time he's going to get with everyone else in the way as well. Uh, but a little competition at each position never hurt anybody, and beautiful. This is, this is an awesome contract for Ederson. Uh, he's probably going to ask for an upgrade, well, a more, uh, bigger contract once he gets um, a, a little bit better in his development. But for definitely the first season, that's a great contract that we have for him. Final scouting report, and uh, yes, there we go. So we got ourselves our center back, v, uh, VVD. Uh, now we're only down to 40 million. Ooh, I don't know if I have a ton of money left. Uh, I think I still have one more uh, final scouting report on Benjamin Mende. That's fine. I'm not too worried about him. And let's keep it rolling. I know this is a little bit slow, guys, but lots of transfers coming in. Hopefully we get some transfer offers going in and out. Oh, shoot. Uh, definitely going to accept Ederson first because we don't have a ton of money left. We've only got six million, and I've got about forty million to spend on uh, Silva. Yeah, that's that. We're gonna go ahead and stall there. We're gonna see how long we can hold off. New signing arriving, Ederson. Unfortunately, Silva may not be able to make it to this uh, the team this year, just because I spent a lot of our money right now. So we're gonna have to sell some players. Hopefully, somebody will come in. They don't often come in to you with a transfer offer, which is kind of weird. Uh, I wish teams would come in and ask to uh, buy some of our players. We have transfer listed a little bit more frequently. Uh, just because, you know, I want to see a guy like Ihe Nacho go out on transfer. And he's definitely somebody that I would like to uh, go out on loan. He's definitely somebody that I would like to see go out on loan. Uh, and somebody that could really use it, too. You know, he's not a guy that's going to see much first team time. And transfer offer for Bakary Sanya. Um, five and a half. He's worth six. He's in okay form. So, you know what, let's go. Let's see if they'll bump it up uh, half a million to six. They just, <laughs> yeah, they just, uh, we just, I believe we just bought uh, Kyle Walker from Tottenham. <laughs> so now they're going after Sonya. I'm willing to make that trade any day of the week. Now, of course, they're going to get the money end of it. Uh, but wow, we're going a while without a game here. Uh, lots of offers. Sergio Aguero to Borgia Dortmund. No, thank you. I'm not going to sell Sergio Aguero as much. You know, as much as much as that, you know, money would help us right now and help us acquire Bernardo Silva. I don't think it's worth it right now. Uh, so let's see here. Let's get take Sterling off and go ahead and throw in Kylian Mbappe, uh, just because I definitely think he's somebody we want to. Um, <laughs> somebody we want to. Uh, let's go ahead and go shooting. Hold on. Uh, sharp shooting, finishing, and shot power. Chance creation, finishing, and shot power. Ah, this has got attack positioning in there as well. Uh, and then instead of Sane, who's who we know is going to grow anyway, we can go ahead and throw in. Ederson, he's gonna have first time, first team time. 
midfielders. Not a lot of guys here that's going to deserve it. So, you know what? Le we'll leave Sané in there just because he's so young and so <laughs> promising. Like, I'm really, really excited for it. Um, and look at that, guys. Even with a D, Ihea Nacho grows up to a 77. Beautiful. All right, so hopefully we can get to a a a, um, a, game, a match or two in this simulation. Let's see. Let's check the calendar, guys. I'm new to this, so bear with me. Let me know anything I could do to make this a little bit more exciting. And there we go, guys. We do play Sunderland uh, in just a, in, uh, at the end of this week, so we will have our squad ready to go for that match. Transfer offer and decided to match it perfect for Bakri Sanya. Awesome. So we can get six million more in there. Sunderland look for a solid season. That's fine. Oh, we play up. We play against them. They have Jermaine Defoe, obviously, as we all know, and then they're projected to finish 13th. All right. So West Brom. I like. I like reading these over here. Players sold, and they've allocated 4.9 to our budget, which is awesome. So there we go, guys. Let's go ahead and set up the squad. There we go. We'll put him in there. There we go. And obviously at right back, we want Kyle Walker. And at left back, we do need a little bit of help. Kolarov cannot play. We'll put, uh, we'll leave Clichy there. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Instead of Otamendi, we want there. And then, uh, nope, not Bravo. We want Ederson. There we go. So this is the uh, roster we're rolling out on day number one, match number one in the Premier League. Uh, Walker, uh, a VVD here. St Sterling up at top, so a lot of it hasn't changed, but Ederson, VVD, and Walker all on the right side are new players that we quite haven't seen on City yet or in real life. So hopefully we we're able to go out there and pull out the win. I may go, uh, depending, I'm looking at the time right now on the video. We do have a decent amount of time into this video, and we haven't had a single match. So you know what? Let's go ahead and have my competitive debut uh, against Sunderland. I, ho I hope to God we win this game. I'd be very, very upset if we didn't. Uh, you know, just, oh, shoot, I didn't set up the bench. But you know what? Mbappe's on the bench. Toure, I hear Nacho, Fernandez. Oh, and Sané scores in the second minute, boys. Ha hell yeah, that's a, gra that's a great one. In the second minute, that's a way to get off to a great start. Puts us in the puts us in the driver's seat to get these three points. Oh, but Kone scores. Their center back scored. Oh, that, that must have been like a like a corner kick. Come on, guys. Oh, and Sane scores on the penalty kick. Hell yeah! And then Sterling scores. Beautiful, guys. Three goals so far for us as we approach uh, the final whistle. And there it is, guys. That is the final whistle. Seven uh, or three to one. Uh, Man City versus Sunderland. Sane had two. Sterling had one, and I believe they had Kone score for their squad. But I'm not too worried about that because we were able to pull out the three points and have a plus two goal differential. That's all I can ask for. It was very, very good. Very, very good debut for me. I was quite happy with the way our players played. I got a little bit nervous there when they tied it up. I thought that we were gonna falter because remember, guys, uh, I have a second one that I do with a much, much lower squad. So. There we go. Wow, De Bruyne is in great form. So let's go ahead and keep it rolling here. Let's see if we can get up to the next game. I'll probably do this game against Stoke, uh, depending on when the next game is. Oh, yeah, we got a – you know, we'll go ahead and play that game against Wigan as well. Let's go to the squad here. All right, um, so instead of – we're going to play Jesus there. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to put uh, like this. Oh, not Aguero. We're going to put Mbappe instead of Gundogan. Let's put Toure in there. Let's take Fernandez off here. Let's get oh, let's get our best players in there. Uh, Fernandinho as well. Uh, Otamendi, who's uh, going down apparently. Ah, and let's get let's go ahead and sub out. Uh, oh, not what I wanted to do. Company, you can come out for Stones. Go ahead, get, get ahead and rock with a little bit of a younger squad here, but I'm okay with that because they're all studs and they can all play quite well. So I'm still happy with this uh, roster. I may have timed it poorly on when I well, but you got to play the first squad on, in your first match, right? They are full starting 11, the number 1 starting 11 you want out there. So there we go guys, let's go ahead and start this game against Stoke City. Let's see if we can go ahead and take ourselves another 3 points uh, as they just lost to Middlesbrough. So very interesting. I don't know if Middlesbrough maybe had a great performance there, but they did just lose to Middlesbrough, so I don't I'm not too, I'm not feeling too threatened by a team like Stoke City, especially uh, with the kind of squad that we can roll out, even when we do rest some of our number one players. Pretty quiet first half so far as we approach halftime. Oh, and VVD gets his uh, card, and Diuf comes on for Boney. That's fine, Wilfred Boney. Uh, oh, wow, lots of subs. Lots. Of, I can't read that off. You guys can see that. Uh, nil nil, and Aguero scores on the penalty. Aguero coming in clutch off the bench, hitting the penalty, and leads Manchester City to a 1-0 victory. So Aguero getting that, wow. Getting that penalty 
penalty kick uh, and and burying it, finishing it was uh, fantastic. I'm really happy to see that. We'll go ahead and train these players again. And let me know what you guys think. Should I be what do you, you know? What do you want to see this make it more entertaining? Is it entertaining enough? I want your guys' opinion because I'm a brand new uh, FIFA manager mode guy. So I'm trying this out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, and I'll go back to my usual. But I kind of wanted to branch out and have a little fun here. All right, guys. And then this game against Wigan. Uh, let's go. Oh, we have a. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, bro. You're you're just not. Oh God, how bad are you? Is the question. Uh, I do like to give players who ask uh, a little chance. He's a 61. He's like the worst player on the squad besides patching. Uh, so yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna go ahead and do that. I apologize. Oh, you know what? Aguero's just a tiny bit tired, so let's go ahead and leave him out. Toure is tired as well. We'll put Company in there. Uh, instead of Silva, we'll put in Fernand. Uh, uh, Gundogan actually. Uh, we'll leave De Bruyne in there instead of Toure. We'll put in Fernandinho. I'm very happy about that. Kolar. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll put Zabaleta out there. Stones is now up to an 81. Wow, he grew pretty damn quick. Uh, Sané's still over here, but we can throw in... Actually, Sané's doing great. He can still play. He's fine there. Uh, Aguero and Ahia Nacho are there. Silva and Toure on the bench. Uh, VVD and Otamendi, I'm fine with that. Uh, some of these guys down here, nobody really... I'm too worried about getting a lot of playing time. You guys let me know what I should be doing, what you think... Uh, you know, formation-wise, I, I, I just want to get your guys' opinion. This is going to be a very, very interactive one because it is my first time trying this, as I keep repeating, you know, maybe as an excuse for myself in the future. But who knows? If I don't need an excuse, I won't use one. Uh, but if I need an excuse, I will definitely use one. You, you guys best believe that. All right, so the EFL Cup now against Wigan. Are we going to be able to top Wigan? I played some of our top-end players, Sterling, Sané, uh, and Jesus up top, we have Gundogan, De Bruyne, and Fernandinho in the midfield. And then Zabaleta, Stones, Company, Walker are our back four. And then Ederson is in goal. Uh, pretty excited. And again, oh, and Sané. I was about to say, we had a pretty boring first half. But then Aguero comes on for Sterling. But then Greg scores for Wigan and ties the match up at 1-1. One -one. So Sané scored in the 40th minute. Coming right out of halftime, Greg scores for Wigan. It is now 10 minutes left in the match. Is somebody going to be clutch? Uh, and, oh, we're going into extra time, by, uh, guys. Toure uh, coming in for Fernandinho. And Greg scores. Are we going to be able to answer? Or is it gonna, are we going to lose to Wigan with our number one squad? And, yes, Greg single-handedly carries Wigan over Manchester City. Wow. I'm pretty upset with that performance. I'm quite upset with the team there. I don't think we should have even got to extra, extra time there. I mean, that's not a bad squad at all that I'm rolling out there. I don't know. Maybe it was just players. Uh, maybe, maybe players in poor form shouldn't have been playing. But there we go, guys. Jesus Navas transfer offers six million. He's worth seven and a half, so I'll make it seven and a half. That's the price I'm going to set for him, helping us reach that goal of Bernardo Silva. And now the video is about approaching half an hour. I'm going to see when our next game is. Uh, we do have one against West Ham coming right up. So I'll go ahead and get that done. And then I'll save the uh, transfer deadline day for the next one for you guys. If you guys have any more ideas of who I should buy and uh, what I should do here. As far as... Oh, transfer offer. They uh, decided to match it. Beautiful. So $7.5 million for Jesus Navas. I am okay with that. That is going to help us, like I said, reach our goal. Player sold. Uh, how much? How much are they gonna allocate? Players leaving. Oh no! Oh, oh wait, is this is this now? <laughs> uh, no, this is September first. Perfect. Holy crap, guys! When we have when we have international breaks, we better not play a damn game because, whoo, there's a lot of players leaving on international duty. But we play West Ham United here, and then in a, in a few days we have the transfer deadline. So I'm not gonna get quite to that in this video. Uh, but let's go ahead here and sub out Jesus for Aguero. Gundogan is not having a great performance, so we'll put Silva in there. And instead of Fernandinho, we'll put Toure. Uh, instead of Stones, we want VVD back in. I'm very happy with that. And then we'll put Clichy there. And I'll, you know what? I'll leave Walker in there. He's playing well. Same thing with Sterling and Sané. They're both playing fantastic for us. Lots of pace up here. I'm really happy about it. So there we go. And there's the bench. I'd love to see some of these guys go out on loan, especially... Um, some of our younger guys that you know aren't going to see any playing time. I don't want to just. I don't want them riding the reserves, which is probably what they do in real life anyway. But I kind of personally feel bad because they're going to come into my office and ask me for some playing time. But here we go, guys. Our second uh, Premier League match against West Ham. We are. We have uh, currently taken all the points available. Uh, three point or six points in our first two matches. 
Uh, both wins, uh, one more solid than the other, but let's see how we do against a little bit more tougher competition in West Ham. So recently they lost to Chelsea in their first game, and then they, uh, they the match against Burnmouth ended in a draw. So hopefully that doesn't end up in a win for them. Loss, draw, win is, you know... Your, your predicted uh, thing there because they keep on going up. But hopefully we can keep our hot streak rolling and they get a yellow card early. And Sané scores again for us. Man, the dude is a beast. He's going to have a great season in Aguero. But Torre scores for them. But Sané answers right back, getting his second of the match just out of halftime. And we have now hit the hour mark, guys. Half an hour left in the match. 20 minutes remaining in the match. Uh, Otamendi comes in. Fernandinho comes in for Walker. We got lots of subs. And Sané completes the hat trick. And there it is, guys. Guys, a four to one uh, victory for Man City as we take all three points. And speaking of three, three goals for Sane and one for Aguero. So Sane is absolutely taking off at the beginning of the season here. I see no reason why I should do anything else uh, but keep playing him if he can. Now, I know in real life he could get his legs burned out, but, you know, I don't think he, there is such a thing as burnout in this besides his stamina. And they, look at that, guys. His training pushes him up to an 83. Pretty happy with that. I think Stones is an 81 now, or he's been an 81 and just went up slightly. But anyway, guys, that ends it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to help me out down in the comment section as we have the transfer deadline day coming up in just a few moments. Uh, that will be in the next one, and we'll pr pretty much get into underway in the Premier League as we are number one in the table there, which is awesome to see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you in the next one.